Hi guys, Lucas Helton with 360 Yield Center. We spend a lot of time talking about corn here at 360, but uh, as we move into getting closer to fungicide season for beans, just want to take a second and talk a little bit about how we stage a bean and, and when we should be making that fungicide application. So uh, to me on a bean, it really depends on a couple different things. Obviously, most of your labels are gonna be R2 to R3. Um, however, as we get out and look at these bean fields, disease pressure is gonna be the most important thing that we consider. Uh, when we decide whether or not we're going to go ahead and make that fungicide pass. So when we look at staging a soybean, what we're really trying to find is the top fully developed leaves. So um, obviously we've got a lot of branching here. Um, these beans were dropped at about 140,000. Uh, had about an 85% germ on those, so we ended up with around 120K uh, as we go out there and we start, start looking and doing some stand counts. So, We've got some significant branch in here. These were really looking pretty good at this point in the season, so we're, so we're pretty happy about that. But uh, we're gonna try to find that main stem. So as we look at this main stem, we go up here towards the top. And what we're trying to find is that, that the, most, the, the top fully developed leaf, and that's what we're gonna count down from to determine what stage we're at. Um, so depending on who you talk to and what you read, um, I probably wouldn't count this one. Um, most of the leaf edges are unrolled, uh, but it just doesn't seem like a fully developed leaf to me yet at this point. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down one more node from here, and we're going to find this guy. Uh, so this to me is going to be your top fully developed node. Um, and if we're looking for R3, we're looking for a 3 16 inch pod on one of the top four nodes. So when I say top four nodes, that's, that's counting our fully developed leaf here, we're going to count down. So we've got our first node. Our second, our third here, and then our fourth. So just going by the growth stage, if the, the product you were using was labeled for R3, these to me aren't quite there yet. They're in the later stages of R2, uh, could be moving towards R3 in the next few days. However, uh, what we're seeing out in this field is we're seeing significant, fairly significant beetle pressure. Uh, we're also starting to see some diseases showing up. So we've got some frog eye leaf spot in certain parts of the field um, and some different things. So probably what's going to happen as we move into a little bit drier weather, as this field dries up from the rain, we're probably going to go out, go out and go ahead and, and apply a fungicide pass to this field. So those are some of the types of things that we look for when we're trying to decide when uh, to make our fungicide application on soybeans. We've seen a a very positive ROI over the past several years and uh, it's something that we continue to do and continue to check and, and see it to have a big impact on soybean yields. So obviously you've got to grow by the growth stage first, but make sure you're scouting these fields, check for pests. We've got some beetle pressure here, so we'll throw an insecticide in. Uh, and make sure you, if you do start to see some disease firing up, make sure you don't wait until it's too late and that disease cannibalizes that plant. So. Just some things to look for, some of the stuff we consider when we're, we're talking about making a fungicide application of soybeans.